Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and today we're going to talk about subtraction with borrowing, right? Now, a lot of us may have done this in the past, but maybe we didn't really understand what's actually happening when you're borrowing. And actually, we really shouldn't call it borrowing because it's really more like regrouping. So if we look at this problem, we see 4,586 minus 3,798. Now, the thing that you notice is that with each of these digits, how they're lined up vertically, the top numbers are less than the bottom numbers. So when we want to subtract using this method, because there are a lot of different methods for subtracting numbers, right? But using this method, we don't want the top number to be less than the bottom number because that'll cause us to end up with a negative using this method, right? I want to be very clear. We can get negatives, but just not using this particular method. So we're going to kind of regroup. So we notice in the ones place, we have a six minus an eight. All right, but we don't want to end up with a negative. So we go to the tens place, and that's why place value is very important for young people to understand what place value is, all right, and the place value of different numbers. So we go to the tens place, and we essentially borrow 10 from these eight tens, because that's what that eight means. It's an eight, but it really represents eight tens, like eight doms, if you're thinking about money. So we cross the eight out, and that becomes a seven. So now you have seven tens, and then we take 10, and we put it over here with the ones. So then we think, okay, well, what's 10 plus 6? 16. So that's why you write the 1 right here and why this becomes a 16. So then we can subtract and do 16 minus 8. Make sure we know our subtraction facts by heart. 16 minus 8 is 8. Now, we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to attempt to subtract in the tens place, but now we run into the same problem. We have a 7 on top and a 9 on the bottom. Okay, so now we, we don't want to have that because that's going to give us a negative. We want to borrow, go to the hundreds place. Now in the hundreds place, we have five hundreds right here. That's what this 5 really means. We got five hundreds. So we're going to take a 100 from these five hundreds, and then we're going to be left with four hundreds. And then with that 100, we're going to put it over here with the tens. Now think about this. 100 is the same as 10 tens. 100 is the same as 10 tens. Parents, think about money. $100 bill is the same thing as 10 $10 bills, right? Or $1 is the same thing as 10 dimes, right? So we're going to have um, 10 tens added to the 7 tens, which gives us 17 tens. So that's why that 7 turns into a 17. So then we do 17 minus 9. Again, we know our subtraction facts. 17 minus 9 is going to be 8. Then we go to the hundreds place, we run into the same problem again. We got four minus seven, four hundreds minus seven hundreds. We don't want, we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go to the thousands place, right? And notice the pattern, notice we keep doing the same thing over and over again, just in different place values, right? So we go to the thousands place and we're gonna take 1,000 from these four thousands, leaving us with three thousands, right? And then 1,000 is the same thing as 10 hundreds. So a thousand is the same as ten hundreds. A thousand dollars is the same thing as ten hundred dollar bills, right? So then we put those ten hundreds with these four hundreds, and now we have fourteen hundreds. So now we're saying we got fourteen hundreds, and we're taking away seven hundreds, which is going to leave us with seven hundred. Then we go to the thousands place, and we have three thousands minus three thousands, which would be zero. And because that's in the largest place. We don't need to write it. So our final answer or our difference, because our answer when we subtract numbers is called a difference, is 788. And that's today's lesson.